Banded clavicular pec flies. Very quickly, remember we've got three portions of the pec. Clavicular portion up by the collarbone. We've got the sternal portion, which comes in between. And then we've got the costal portion. Now, for us to figure out or feel our clavicular pecs working simple, place your finger on your pec just below your collarbone and try to feel where we get the peak contraction. What you will notice is that when you move from a low to high, you'll start to feel it. But when you actually come in and across the body, that's when you'll take the muscle into its fully shortened position. Essentially, that's what we're trying to create now with our banded clavicular pec fly. So if Liam shows the execution, what we need to have is the cables or the band set up at a lower height than the hand. And essentially we're coming up and through and back down again, controlling. Now remember the thing with the bands is that the tension is increasing as we come into the short position. So not necessarily ideal. If you have cables, there'd be a better option. Now, another thing we can do is just manipulate Liam's body position. Obviously what we could do is I could set his bands to a lower height, which is gonna allow him to move into more of an upward trajectory of the pull. But if these are fixed or just for a really easy way to change it, then we just ask Liam to hinge at the hip a little bit more. Now, simply without changing the height of the band set up, and we now pull through, we're getting even more focus on the clavicular portion of the pecs.